and welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I'm joined as always by my team of Fallout Luke, Finney, and Novin. Now, I had mentioned that you probably couldn't make it down to the Sunken Shrine if if you wanted to. Uh, you actually could. I was mistaken. Um, but what I usually did was uh, I took the Rosetta Stone and continued that little side quest before I finished off this shrine, but I don't feel like doing that this time. I just feel like taking the barrel down, finishing off the sunken shrine now, and then we can move on after we finish off the Kraken that we know is down there. So we go deep into the depths once again to Atlantica. I mean the sunken shrine. Whatever. So we've, you know, we've seen this all before. What we need to do now? Yes, we're on the third floor. Yes, climb the ladder. We want to go to the upper left, like I did last time, because I was a little confused. Let's see, where are those stairs? There they are. And we want to go down to the second floor. We want to go straight north here. There's, there's no treasure or anything like that here. So north is where we need to go. And there are the stairs right there. And we find very, very small places here. Uh, anything in here? No, of course not. And now we go down. I don't even know. We're back on the third floor. And in here we finally find some treasure. We get 110 gil. Random, random small amount of money. Okay, what's with the small money here? Now there has to be an exit down here somewhere. There is. Okay, out this door here and down some more stairs back on the second floor. I, I don't know why the second floor. You know, we've been going up and down this entire time. What do we have in here? Is there a scripted fight? No. No. But what do we have in this other church chest? We get some more gill. Not exactly what I need, but I'll take it. What do we have down to the southwest of this room here? We do have another uh, building here. What do we got? We have 5,385. And is this scripted? Um, I'm going to say no. But for that battle, we get Giant's Gloves. I don't know what those are. Um, can he equip them? No. Uh, oh, they have the Saber effect. Awesome. So you can use those in battle um, to increase your attack. And to the... Oh, what's in here? We do have another treasure chest. And this one did look like a scripted battle to me, but we've seen all these enemies before. And for that battle we get a light axe. And I don't know if that's... No, but it does have Dia 2 on it, which is awesome. So we're just racking up the useful items this this little round here. We may never have to use spells again. Why do I even bother getting the mages? Oh, I'm just kidding. You know I love my wizards. Now, oh, here we go. Here's some gill. Okay, and we get seven. Wait, was this scripted? I guess it was, but they're just white charts. They're, they're nothing tough. And what else do we get in here? We get more gill and another ribbon, which I do want to equip. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh, I already put one on Finny, so then let's put the other one on Luke. Um, it does the same as the, the leather cap in terms of defense and all that, but it protects against horrible spells. And I want protection against all the horrible spells that I can come across. And is that it? I do believe it. Oh no, there looks like there was a building over there. Although it could just be another wall. It is just another wall. Oh, you and your tricks of, of visuals. It was just an illusion. So now we're down on the first floor here. Uh-oh. Big empty room. There, there's no treasure in here. Oh, this is not a good sign. This looks like the final floor. Is there any treasure in here? No. Doesn't look like there, there's a way down there. So let's go up and to the left. Yes, I do believe up and left is where we wanted to go. Yeah. That definitely looks like it. Oh, sweet. I got a level up because of that. And, oh. Oh. This. 
This definitely looks like the entrance to the boss. Okay, we want to keep going north, I believe. So we keep going. And we keep going. Um, ugh, looks like I have to go out that door there. So down, and out the door, and further up. It's just a long, huge floor here, and there we finally go. Okay, so I'm going to heal everybody back up to full, and then we will take on the water orb that lies in front of the water crystal. Okay, we're ready. Let's take it on. Humans amaze me. Who would have thought any land creature could make it this far? And the Kraken has been released. But I'm afraid it's time to teach you your place. Kraken the Water Fiend shall instruct you. And now, yeah, it's time for the boss. He's not too tough, if I remember right. Uh, he uses bolt magic, so I'm going to go ahead and take that away from him. And then I believe I want to go for my strongest attack, which is Ice 3 still. So I'm going to use that. Let's see how much damage it actually does on him. It does 100 damage. Not bad. And yeah, Luke has learned how to hit eight times in a row. It's awesome, actually. So now we're almost invulnerable to lightning. And uh, he uses ink dick. Um, I, I believe that, you know what, let's use Holy on his ass. Let's see what, let's see what Holy does for us. I mean, we're doing massive amounts of damage here. But now it's time for Holy. Hundred and eighty four. Who said that Finny doesn't attack? And yeah, he just uses ink again. And it didn't even hit anybody that time. So yeah, pretty much same strategy, just smack him a whole bunch of times. And then he goes down. He's one of the easier uh, fiends. But he goes down like a boss, dissolving slowly. And the Kraken has been defeated! For that, we you know, we don't even get that much experience or, and gil. I think I've got more in a couple fights along the way here. But now, it's time to rescue the water crystal. And yeah, somebody handed Fallout their crystal so that he could hog all the glory and present it to the water crystal himself. I still love that scene, and I don't want to talk over that little musical scheme there. I don't want to talk over it. Okay, so that's it for the Water Temple. Let's go ahead and warp on out of here. And then we make it instantly back to town, which is always awesome. It, and I doubt anybody even has anything new to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have legs. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, nobody, nobody ever has anything new to say. I mean, there were wasn't there a person down here that specifically talked about the shrine? I think it was like the dwarf or sage-looking dude over here. Please get out of my way. Yes, the sage up here. Yeah, please bring it back. I freaking did. You, s you see that blue crystal on the bottom right? That is shining because I did it. I finished. And I beat it. Okay, so I'm going to save. And then I'll meet you outside of town when we head for our next destination. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And this uh, could technically have been done once you got the Rosetta Stone and warped out of town. But I kind of wanted to warp. 
simply because I am powered enough as it is and I don't need to get the spells that are there. But, what you want to do... Where am I on the world map? I've already forgotten. It's been so long. Um... Okay. So, I want to go down here. Now, do you remember this town here? This is Melmond. And here, there was a Dr. Une. I believe I have to go up here to talk to him. He should be around here somewhere. Yes, yes there, there he is. Let me see that stone slab. And he totally takes my Rosetta Stone. I could have learned Spanish with that thing, but no, he had to take it from me. My dear know-nothings, oh thanks, I just handed you the thing that you've been looking for forever and you call us know-nothings. And now he will unlock the, l the Lufinian language. Of course, I've got it! It's an arcane language, but I suppose I could teach it to you know-nothings. Hope you can appreciate such knowledge. And this, that was him teaching us a whole nother language. And we're all done. And that's it. Yeah. Whole language. No discs, no classes, no homework, nothing. All we had to do was talk to that guy for like 10 seconds and he taught us the entire Lufinian language. I want to know how the hell that works. Okay, looking back at the world map now, uh, you, it's pretty much the only red circle we have not been to yet. It's on the northeastern continent, on the right wing of the hawk, uh, near the bottom. Um, that is where we are headed. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there it is. But where can I land? Can I land inside down? That'd be epic. Now, of course not. Yeah, where... Where should you land? No, seriously. Seriously, where where do you land to go there? Yeah, there's there's nowhere to land. So we will have to wait and sort this out next time. I hope you have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.